Janet and Sam. Um, I was calling concerning the record name, Breaking the Balls of History. Um, I was wondering what that references and how can we help. Um, and with that, uh, I wish you both a shoop, hoop, hoop, get it to you too. Have a good day, night, bye. Breaking the balls of history is is um, it's a it's just a, another a, a, an idea about uh, not being caught in the in the, in the patterns and the structures of, of the past and um, whether it be your own personal past or you know, the history of political or social history. So, yeah, the way you can help is, yeah, exactly that. Just don't, don't be stuck. Don't be stuck in these patterns. Uh, stay open to moving forward. Hi, Sam. Hi, Janet. Um, I just wanted to say the video for Doom Scrollers is is amazing and, and beautiful in its, its own way, and it, it makes me feel it makes me feel certain things. Um, I don't know why. Visually, it's it's a masterpiece, and sonically, it's it's absolutely delightful. But wondering what the visual inspiration for the uh, the magnificent video for Doom Scrollers was uh, the aesthetic sort of. Um, root where did that come from that's what vortex did that that arise anyhow i love the new album and i love that song and the video and caught you in sf and it was a fantastic show and keep on keeping on be well uh, thanks for asking about the doom scrollers video it was uh, directed by B.A. Mealy. Pardon me if that pronunciation isn't right. Um, an incredible video director who works a lot with green screen, which I feel like came in very handy for everyone uh, who worked with her during the pandemic because you could do these long distance collaborations. So we thought that would be great for us, and we we liked her work and worked with her on the um, Hitmakers video that, uh, that she did that I thought was super cool. So uh, the initial inspiration was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, kind of the, the boat ride down the Chocolate River, and um, also Altered States were the two main visual inspirations. And then Sam and I did some green screen. Uh, at our, in Portland, at, our, at my sister's house actually, and um, BA sent us some suggestions for shots and then we kind of added our own ideas and Sam came up with the idea of the truck and we filmed that, you know, behind Sam's house and I don't know, it was like a real collaboration but the, the incredible visuals were BA's invention and um, yeah, we were extremely Hey Quasi, this is Clyde Peterson. Uh, I'm just calling you from up north near the Canadian border. And I was wondering if you would answer the following question. I'm kind of curious to know, Sam and Janet, what your like fantasy universes would entail. Like if you could just step off the planet and live in a fantasy universe, like what would it look like? What would it smell like? What would it sound like? Maybe it is on this planet. I don't know. Just kind of curious if, if time and space wasn't an issue or like financial worries weren't an issue. Like what, what would your world look like? Have a great day. My fantasy universe would be 
completely empty. There would be no people, no sun, no moon, no earth, nothing. Not even me. That would that'd be my fantasy. Love the new record. Wanted to see what record you both could not live without. Hey, thanks for asking about the records we can't live without. I think I'm just gonna switch it up a little bit and say a few bands I probably couldn't live without because it's impossible to pick records since there are so many. Um, so I'm gonna say The Clash, The Beatles, <laughs> um, Bell and Sebastian, um, Wire, Buzzcocks, The Stones, The Who, uh, The Minutemen, and Elise and maybe like best of Motown, best of Stacks. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say those for now, and thanks for asking. <laughs>